hear you're recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? Well, aren't you sweet? You're in the wrong place, honey. Stripper's quarters are that way. Show me yours, tough guy. I bet mine's bigger. Impressive. So, you're here to fight, then? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a forge out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing, operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Yeah, you know enough to get yourself killed. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey! What are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. time they send me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in. Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's gotta have suicide. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Katka. He'll tell you when to go in. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout, but they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge, so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, 
but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kafka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. in your ass. Zaid. I take it you two are acquainted? We've crossed paths a few times. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? It's Archangel. This guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Zaid. I gotta deal with this shit. Jinta, talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you solved my problem for me. Anything's possible. Good thing you know him. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. What can I do for you? What's Tarek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. What if Archangel survives all the attacks? And you sons are on your own. That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Suns so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other Merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, Freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack. Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you Freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the Freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction. Nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. 
One of them was my brother, so yes. It's pretty damn personal. I'll get going. Good idea. You're in the wrong place, Freelancer. You the Blood Pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you Freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. Why are the Blood Pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The Blood Pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us, and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men, and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him. But the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. When did the blood pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. I should get going. About time. Kafka? Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Salki? You met him when you were dropped off. He radioed to say you were coming. You three kind of stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap him in close quarters, and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again, or the blaster's finished with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. <laughs> Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. And a few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again.
you're working too hard. Archangel is in trouble. Not much time. What the hell are we waiting for? Give these guys a surprise of our own. I see them! Angel. Keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mugs is hard work. Especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. You nailed me good a couple times, by the way. Concussive rounds only. No harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But... It works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. Just waiting doesn't seem like a good option. Got any other suggestions? This place has held them off so far. And, with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. I didn't like sneaking anyway. Time to spill a little murk blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything we've got. Want something done properly. 
All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Take care of itself. Ah, impressive shot. Shepard. They barely touched me, and we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Izo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got blood pack and blue suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side, heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? Sounds problematic. Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Zaid, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. Roger that. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. How do I get to the basement? Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck.
taking some fire, Shepard. Time to get those damn shutters open. Incoming. We took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Derek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Look out! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. I fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. They're offloading troops. Watch your back, Shepard. <laughs> oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ah. 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 Not a problem.
We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Mm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. You sure you're okay working with Cerberus? I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. And it was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but... He could hack any system ever built. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate Merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad, then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him, and because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. You sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. 
One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. I can't believe the Collectors were once Protheans. I always pictured Protheans being regal, not giant bugs. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, named Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Yes? I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? <laughs> if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it! Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you lumbering mouse! Too slow. Why do I even bother? We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not Fade. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. How the hell did Harkin end up being the Fade? Well, he got fired from CSEC a while back. 
He used his knowledge of CSEC and their systems to help a few people disappear. <laughs> then he made himself disappear, and Thade was born, so to speak. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. Shepard? Don't just stand there. Stop them! Stop them! Run all you want, Harkin! We'll find you! Somewhere I can smell him. No shields. finally gone completely bad. He was always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off.
Did you see that? I saw something. He's getting ready for us. What are you gonna do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now, working for the Blue Suns. I should just shoot him on sight. But I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. You don't need to hurt him to get what you want. Don't worry, Harkin's a coward. He'll talk long before I can really hurt him. You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless, unlike everyone he betrayed. He'll be spared the agony of a slow death. It's more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. Garrus, do you really think killing Sedonis will make things right? I have to do this. I don't expect you to understand, but please, don't try to stop me. I'll pull the trigger, and I'll live with the consequences. All I'm asking is that you help me find him. What do you think Harkin's got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex. Heavy machinery. Could be anything. Something's in there. Probably more blue suns. Harkin's kind of trapped himself in a corner. He must have something in store for us. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. Enough! So, Fade. Couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. 
Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. We're not here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sidonis. Turian came from... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Harkin, this doesn't have to be hard. Screw you. I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <coughs> you know what else is bad for business? Uh, a broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me! Uh, <coughs> Terminus really changed you, huh, Gareth? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So, if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a bit. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from c -Sec now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah. I hope we can do this again real soon. <clears throat> <sighs> I didn't shoot him. Come on, let's move. Sidonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. Getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? This is not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sidonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sidonis could get away with this. Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Alright. There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Let's get this over with. 
You're in my shot. Move to the side. Listen, Sidonis. I'm here to help you. Don't ever say that name aloud. I'm a friend of Garrus's. He wants you dead, but I'm hoping that's not necessary. Garrus, is this some kind of joke? Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? Screw this. I'm not sticking around here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Don't move. Get off me! I'm the only thing standing between you and a hole in the head. Fuck. Look, I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Let me take the shot, Shepard. He's a damn coward. That's it? You were just trying to save yourself? I know what I did. I know they died because of me. I have to live with that. I wake up every night, sick, and sweating. Each of their faces staring at me, accusing me. I'm already a dead man. I don't sleep. Food has no taste. Some days, I just want it to be over. Just give me the chance. You gotta let it go, Garrus. He's already paying for his crime. He hasn't paid enough. He still has his life. Look at him, Garrus. He's not alive. There's nothing left to kill. My men, they deserve to better. Tell Garrus... I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just... go. Tell him to go. He's giving you a second chance, Sidonis. Don't waste it. I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you talking to him. I know you want to talk about this, but I don't. Not yet. I know it didn't go the way you planned, but I think it's for the best. I'm not so sure. Give it time. Yeah. Maybe that'll be enough. I want to know I did the right thing, not just for me. For my men. They deserve to be avenged. But when Sidonis was in my sights, I just couldn't do it. The lines between good and evil blur when we're looking at people we know. Yeah, there was still good in him. I could see it. So much easier to see the world in black and white. Gray. I don't know what to do with Gray. You gotta go with your instincts. My instincts are what got me into this mess. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thanks, Shepard. For everything. Let's get going. I need some distance from this place. I'm with you. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors, or the Reapers, or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite, not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. 
Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid of it. I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. What if we skipped right to the tiebreaker? We could test your reach and my flexibility. Oh, I didn't. Hmm. Never knew you had a weakness for men with scars. Well, why the hell not? There's nobody in this galaxy I respect more than you, and if we can figure out a way to make it work, then... Yeah, definitely. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Yeah. I've been thinking about what we talked about. Blowing off steam, easing tension. I've never considered cross-species intercourse. That damn saying it that way doesn't help. Now I feel dirty and clinical. Uh, are we crazy to even be thinking about this? I'm not... Look, Shepard, I know you can find something a little closer to home. I don't want something closer to home. I want you. I want someone I can trust. I can do that. I'll find some music and do some research to figure out how this thing should work. It'll either be a night to treasure or a horrible interspecies awkwardness thing. In which case, fighting the collectors will be a welcome distraction, so, you know, a win either way. You know, Garrus, if you're not comfortable with this, it's okay. I'm not trying to pressure you. Shepard, you're about the only friend I've got left in this screwed-up galaxy. I'm not gonna pretend I've got a fetish for humans. But this isn't about that. This is about us. You don't ever have to worry about making me uncomfortable. Nervous, yes. But never uncomfortable. So when should I book the room? I'd wait, if you're okay with it. Disrupt the crew as little as possible, and take that last chance to find some calm just before the storm. You know me, I always like to savor the last shot before popping the heat sink. Wait. That metaphor just went somewhere horrible. I'll let you get back to work. Right. Because I'm in a great place to optimize firing algorithms right now. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Definitely. Part of me still thinks we're crazy for even considering blowing off steam. But I want to try it with you. I want a few moments that are just for us before we throw ourselves into hell for the good of the galaxy. I want that too, Garrus. Glad to hear it. I'll do some, uh research and figure out how to, you know, okay, that sounded bad. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. 
aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Sexual activity normal stress release for humans and Turians. Still, recommend caution. Mourn of chafing. You have a recommendation as a doctor? Turians based on dextroamino acids. Human ingestion of tissue could provoke allergic reactions. Anaphylactic shock possible, so don't... <clears throat> ingest. Also forwarding advice booklet to your quarters. Valuable diagrams, positions comfortable for both species, erogenous zone overviews. Can supply oils or ointments to reduce discomfort. Gave ED electronic relationship aid demonstration vids to use as necessary. Wait a minute, Morden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. The IFF is nearly installed, Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I suggest you take a shuttle to access your next location. Hey, Commander, good news. It looks like the Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. We can't put our mission on hold forever. How long will this take? Full scan? Who knows with this thing? Maybe you better take the shuttle for this mission. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. And I guess I'll head down to the shuttle. Joker. Ship's all yours. Take care of her. Aye, aye, Commander. you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation bleed, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? I'm detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. The main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. God damn it. Emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? 
Alright, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great, so this is where it starts. We're just all organic batteries, guess who they'll blame? This is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. The shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. Hostiles are present in engineering. They are heading towards the cargo bay. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. on board, securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. <sighs> Send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell her what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? <sighs> no. But thanks for asking. Everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, alright? I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. I heard it was a rough ride. How you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Is the ship clean? We can't risk this happening again. Edie and I purged the systems. The Reaper IFF is online. We can go through the Omega-4 relay whenever you want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. Edie's had plenty of opportunity to kill us. We need all the help we can get. Sounds like we have everything we need to rescue the crew. We've done everything we can. It's time to take the fight to the Collectors. Joker, head back up to the bridge. The rest of you, to your stations. Aye, aye, Commander. Just punch up the galaxy map whenever you're ready. Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. The Collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. Hey, I brought wine. Best I could afford on a vigilante salary.
If you were a Turian, I'd be complimenting your waist or your fringe. So, your um, hair looks good, and your waist is very supportive. Hopefully, that's not offensive in human culture. Whoa! Consider me seduced, smooth talker. Now shut up and stop worrying. I, I just, I, I've seen so many things go wrong, Shepard. My work at CSEC. What happened with Sedonis? I want something to go right, just once. Just. Shepard, I wish I had more information for you. I don't like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. I'm not going alone. I've got some of the best working with me. If we stick together, we'll make it. I knew we brought you back for a reason. I've never seen a better leader. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. The first human to take a ship through and survive. I'm going to destroy the Collectors to stop their attacks on humanity. Understood still impressive. I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. Be careful, Shepard. Approaching Omega-4 Relay. Everyone stand by. Let's make it happen. Reaper IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. Commander, drive core just lit up like a Christmas tree. Drive core electrical charge at critical levels. Rerouting. close. Well, these must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega-4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. be a collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. Feel the fire! 
squad range! We're sitting ducks out here! I have to try to lose them in the debris field! Our kinetic barriers are not designed to survive impact debris that size, Chief. Well, I guess it's a good thing we upgraded. We're going in! One's up to Shepard. Collector base. See if you can find a place to land without drawing attention. Too late. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us. systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. I'll do whatever it takes to stop the collectors, but I plan to live to tell about it. I'm glad you're in charge. What's next? How long until the collectors find this landing zone? I do not detect an internal security network. It is possible the collectors do not expect anyone to reach the base. Well, if we're lucky. Their external sensors were hit like we were. They might not know we're alive. The 
isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors. And that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew or any of the colonists are still alive, the Collectors are probably holding them in there. Looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the Collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. If we send a team down each path, they can keep the Collectors busy while someone else sneaks in through this ventilation shaft here. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? Legion, you can hack through anything. I'm sending you into the shaft. Acknowledged. The rest of us will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should draw the Collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. This isn't a popularity contest. Lives are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. Marin is right. She should be in charge. I won't let you down, Shepard. I don't know what we're gonna find in there, but I won't lie to you. It's not gonna be easy. We've lost good people. We may lose more. We don't know how many the Collectors have stolen. Thousands, hundreds of thousands. It's not important. What matters is this. Not one more. That's what we can do here today. It ends with us. They want to know what we're made of? I say we show them on our terms. Let's bring our people home. Team, are you in position? In position. Meet you on the other side of those doors. Hostiles up ahead! <clears throat> Shepard, reinforcements coming towards. Miranda here. We're taking heavy fire, but we're moving forward. One down. That one here! This should slow him down. Oh!
could count on you. Shepard, you need to see this. Looks like one of the missing colonists. There's more. Over here. God. She's still alive! Chakwas, are you okay? Shepard, you... you came for us. No one gets left behind. Thank God you got here in time. A few more seconds and... I don't even want to think about it. The colonists were... processed. Those swarms of little robots, they... melted their bodies into grey liquid and pumped it through these tubes. Why are they doing this? What are they doing with our genetic material? I don't know. I'm just glad you got here before it happened to us. So are we. But we still have a job to do. We've done well so far. Let's hope we can finish the job. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. The route is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. 
Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. What about biotics? Could we create a biotic field to keep them from getting near us? Yes, I think it may be possible. I wouldn't be able to protect everyone, but we might be able to get a small team through if they stayed close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you want to maintain the field? Jack and I will take a small team through the Seeker Swarms. The rest of you provide a diversion by going through the main passage. We'll open the security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? I'll keep the defenders busy. You slip around the back. What about me and the rest of the crew, Shepard? We're in no shape to fight. Commander, we have enough systems back online to do a pickup, but we need to land back from your position. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. Not now. You'll never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. Joker, send me the location of the landing zone. We'll meet you there. We've all got our assignments. Let's move out. Moving out! Stay close if you want to live. Swarms are interfering with radio contact. You ready for this? Let's go, Commander! Incoming! They've seen us.
fight. I'll hold this position until you're ready to move out. Spotted. Entrance. Need to get there soon. Target eliminated. Joker, are you at the rendezvous point? I'm here, Commander. Chakwas and the rest of the crew just showed up. Kasumi's group just arrived, Shepard. No casualties. Excellent. Now let's make it count. Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms that will take you to the main control console. From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Commander, you got a problem. Hostiles massing just outside the door. Won't be long till I bust through. A rear guard could defend this position and keep the Collectors from overwhelming us. Pick a team to go with you, Shepard. Everyone else can bunker down here and cover your back. I'm ready, Commander. Same here. Anything to say before we do this? The Collectors, the Reapers, they aren't a threat to us. They're a threat to everything, everyone. Those are the lives we're fighting for. That's the scale. It's been a long journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes down to this moment. We win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourselves proud. Well said. Let's go finish this. Oh, 
Amore! This is it. All the tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? The tubes are feeding into some kind of superstructure. It is emitting both organic and non-organic energy signatures. Given these readings, it must be massive. Shepard, if my calculations are correct, the superstructure is a Reaper. Not just any Reaper. gain by turning humans into this reaper shell. They may be facilitating the reaper equivalent of reproduction, or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the collectors are merely pawns. The technology and ability needed to create this reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each reaper. In this case, the collectors provide the labor. The collectors are just protheans. Why would they help the Reapers? The Reapers subdued the Protheans long ago. Probabilities suggest they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper and failed. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs. 
needs, changed them, turned them into workers. Tools for the Reapers. They're building it to look like a human. Why? It appears that a Reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs, a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The exact construction methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the Reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. How many more humans do you think they'd try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. An embryo in human terms. So it's not alive yet? We can still stop it from being... created? The process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. This thing is an abomination. Edie, how do we destroy it? The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse, and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. We gotta take care of some old friends first. Enemies incoming! This is the We are your genetic destiny. The flesh is a machine. Injection tubes. Team, status report. It's they. We are holding, but they keep coming. A quick exit is preferable. Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Commander, I've got an incoming signal from the elusive man. He's patching it through. Shepard, you've done the impossible. I was part of a team. Some of them gave their lives for this mission. I know. Their sacrifice will not be forgotten. You did what you had to do, and you acquired the Collector Base. I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining Collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. 
They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. They liquefied people. Turned them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. I'm not so sure. Seeing it firsthand, using anything from this base seems like a betrayal. If we ignore this opportunity, that would be a betrayal. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. We'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Miranda, do not let Shepard destroy the base. Or what? You'll replace me next? I gave you an order, Miranda. I noticed. Consider this my resignation. Shepard, think about what's at stake, about everything Cerberus has done for you. You... Let's move. We got ten minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart.
I'm here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. We're just waiting for you. Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely or greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. Too many lives were lost at that base. I'm not sorry it's gone. The first of many lives. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy, against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance, or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. I'm not looking for your approval. Harbinger's coming and he won't be alone. Humanity needs a leader who's looking out for them. From now on, I'm doing things my way, whether you agree or not. Don't turn your back on me, Shepard. I made you. I brought you back from the dead. Joker, lose this channel. <laughs>